I'm gonna have faith and hope that I'm wrong. But let's hope for the worst, I mean, hope for the best. Think of the worst, hope for the best. However, you know what I mean. I'm just frustrated. <laughs> hey guys. So uh, I just came out to gather my one egg that I got today. And I just saw something on the greenhouse that doesn't make me very happy. But before we go into that, check out the soup that I made this morning with some leftovers. It's gonna be so good when it's done. Making some turkey bacon ranch soup. Starting with the bacon in my Dutch oven so I can have the grease to cook my onions and garlic. So now that the bacon's done, I'm gonna take my chopped up onions and garlic and put them in the grease and stir it around and saute it in with all those bacon bits and the grease and all the yumminess in there, all that flavor. All right, while that's sauteing, I have a tea kettle of water heating up on the stove and I'm unwrapping some chicken bouillon cubes. I did one at first, it's one bouillon cube to two cups of water, hot water. So I did one thinking that just two cups would be enough but after looking at everything and getting the water in there, you'll see uh, once I put that together that I add another one. Throwing in about two cups of my tur leftover turkey from Thanksgiving dinner that my daughter and son-in-law made up for us. It was really delicious. And here I'm mixing in that bouillon cube with the hot water and decided that I needed another one. So I'm just adding the second one and then I'll add two more cups of water to make it four cups of water and two bouillon cubes. Added the chicken broth to the pot and then adding some frozen vegetables. This has corn and peas and green beans. Um, I think that's it. Corn, peas, and green beans, I believe. Um, maybe some carrots too, actually. So added that. That was frozen in the freezer. So I just broke it up and then turned up the heat and put the lid on and got it boiling. Then after it got boiling, I took a whole packet of ranch dry seasoning and then a, about a tablespoon of flour to thicken up the broth just a little bit and put the lid on and let it cook for a while. Hey guys, so unfortunately I've got a panel that blew out of my my uh, greenhouse and I need to get it put back in so that the snow it's a side panel and I don't want the snow to get in there and make a mess and push out on the panels and stuff so I have um, this is liquid nails heavy-duty adhesive so I'm going to because I can't without loosening everything up right now um, I can't get this all in the grooves the way it's supposed to so what I'm going to try to do is use these 
side pieces on here and glue this and glue this in the best I can just to keep the snow out for this winter um, and then hopefully we can do something different next year but uh, this has done great all summer long unfortunately uh, we had a big wind blow a couple days ago when I came out and noticed this my door was blown off and this was blown out so I'm gonna try to glue this on and then maybe glue some of these other panels to help keep them in and uh, thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. Like trying to figure out why it won't come out. I didn't pop a hole inside. I cut the tip off and never popped a hole. Now I gotta find something to stick in there and pop a hole. I found a stick that I could get in there. So woohoo! There it is. This piece of stick. Alright, let's see if we can do something with this. Closer so you can see what I'm doing here. All right, so it's not the greatest job, and I probably will go inside and do it inside too, so that I can get the, uh, you know, just get a good contact between the panel and the metal, the metal frame uh, down here. So. Trying to get this to stay in for right now. All right, I'm gonna go inside and see what I can do. I'm not sure if this thing shifted or what's going on. Let's see if I can move this up. See if you guys can see this. I got the GoPro today and it's kind of a stinker, but. This thing, this panel is trying to come out. It's not even touching this metal piece. It's supposed to go in a channel in there. So what that's telling me is this thing, the wind must have shifted this one way or another. I don't know which way. So that it came out of that channel. But I'm gonna have to Put a little stuff there too because this is supposed to be the roof this is not going to hold up a main winter with inches and inches of snow or sometimes feet so let's see if i can do something here get that in that channel
have no idea if that's going to hold that in, but all we can do is hope. This whole thing really needs to be redone here. Now my door's trying to run away here. Okay, so now I get to move down so we can see what I'm doing with this guy. It's just pushing out. Gotta go outside and push in on it. Okay, I pushed that in so it sealed pretty good um, on the outside. I don't know if there's a temperature thing on this, it's only about 33 degrees outside plus the wind is a little bit cooler so I have no idea what the temp is but it's definitely around 32 degrees so uh, who knows if this will even do anything it kind of feels like it's setting up pretty good but this thing this isn't gonna hold snow this guy here this thing's out of whack and of course Scott's not home he's working so I'm just trying to deal with this the best I can and then maybe we can figure something out. But all I have to say is if you live in a place where you get a lot of snow, don't get one of these friggin' greenhouses. I got this from uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. I'll have to look it up and I'll put it on the screen as I'm talking about it. Whatever. It's great if you're in a place where you don't get super high winds. And uh, a lot of snow, but. At this point, it's probably gonna all cave in and there's gonna be snow inside this greenhouse. unless I do something different, which I don't know what yet. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So anyway, this is what I'm doing. Getting frustrated. So frustrating. So this is the other thing. thing this door blew off it's not staying on We took a lot of time in getting this um, level. We put in uh, crushed gravel. We uh, we rolled it down so that it was all nice and level. Um, but I guess with the cold and maybe the frost is getting in the ground, it is getting harder. So the fr it is cold enough for the frost to get in the ground. I suppose it could be heaving and moving and uh, that's why this isn't working out so well. So 
I don't know, maybe this door will stay on now. I'll have to pull it off when I want to get in there, which I won't need to, I don't think. I think I'm all done out here for this year. But how frustrating is this? I really, we should have just made a stick built one. Scott wanted to do it the right way, and I was like, no, this will be fine. It's my fault. Um, so frustrating. So frustrating. We just put, this thing cost us $400, maybe... Yeah, right around $400, I think it was. Um, and we should have just taken it back first thing we got it. Actually, my daughter picked one up too because we said how awesome it was, we thought. We thought it was going to be better construction. There wasn't one there for us to actually see. It was all online and it, it looked like it was going to be good enough. Um, and yeah, it just is not what we thought it was. And if you're in a place where you get a lot of snow, I just want you to know, don't buy one of these. Try to do a stick built one if you can. Or use pallets. Even pallets would probably be better than this crap. And you can buy better, stronger uh, panels. If you don't make your greenhouse very big, it will only take a few panels. And they're polycarbonate and they'll last, or they're supposed to. Uh, and this, it would just be a lot sturdier than what this is. I'm just not, not happy and I don't have much hope for it to make it through the winter, um, until spring, until we can do something different. I'm pretty sure this is just going to be all caved in, even though I'm going to come out and shovel and clean this thing off and keep the snow away from the edges as much as I possibly can. It's probably not going to do any good. But I'm going to have faith and hope that I'm wrong. But let's hope for the worst. I mean, hope for the best. Think of the worst. Hope for the best. However, you know what I mean. I'm just frustrated. <laughs> I think it's time to go in and have some soup. I'm cold. My face is freezing up. I can't even form my mouth the correct way. <laughs> so I think I need to go in and have some of that yummy soup that I made this morning and get it to warm me up a little bit. Feed the fire. And uh, we'll see how that soup tastes. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be yummy. Mmm. That looks so good. I did try a little taste of it earlier and uh, it's super flavorful. Now, I'm thinking about putting some rice in there or something like that to just sop up some of the some of the uh, broth that's in there, but I'm going to take part of a piece of bacon, crinkle it up. There's my yummy soup. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man. Wow, is that flavorful? So, so good. Yummy. Can you guys see in there? Oh my gosh. So yeah, you could go ahead and um, put potatoes in there. You could put, uh, like I said, I think I might put some rice in there. Um, Scott can take some of this for his lunch for work or supper for work or whatever. And uh, I think he'll really like it with the rice in it. Um, I'd also eat it on top of like mashed potato, um, something like that. I'm trying to eat a little bit better, so I'm trying to stay away from the starches a little bit. Um, so probably I'll just eat mine plain like this, but when I make some for Scott, I'll make his with some rice in it. But wow, that's really good. So just so you guys know, I'm all warmed up. I'm still pissed off about that greenhouse, but what do you do? But if you make it, Enjoy. Let me know what you think. All right. Thanks for stopping by, guys. See you later. Mm -hmm.